guys, it's Jackie, and this is my What's in My Bag for School edition, and um, a tips on organization for, you know, starting a new school semester. Um, in college, you have two semesters, so you technically kind of have, like, two first days of school because you have two different sets of new teachers and everything, and you have to get new supplies. So I just decided I would show you what I do, you know, regularly to keep myself organized, and I hope you guys like it, and uh, keep watching. Okay, um, this is my back to school bag. It's a lot different than my actual purse. It's a Roxy bag, I think, and I got it at um, PacSun. I don't know if they have it elsewhere, but um, yeah, so this is my bag, and what I would suggest, my biggest suggestion besides eating breakfast, eating breakfast is a huge thing. You should always do that in the morning so you have energy throughout the day, and just don't drink coffee because you're going to spike, and it's just going to, and then you're going to crash, and then you're going to be tired by like 11, and then you're just not going to want to listen, but yeah, what I would say is a good idea to have is a Planner. Oh, planner. So the name of my school, and I'm not going to show you. Um, yeah, this is my planner. It's given by the school, so it has all the dates of like when spring break is, when finals is, and you know, here I'll show you. It has this like I write in it. I'm pretty good at writing it, writing in it. I write down, you know, my work schedule. I write write down, you know, if I plan throughout the day because I'm always looking at this, this very book, and I hope. You know, you guys get a planner of some sort, you know, your school may not provide one, but um, definitely get one because that is a huge, huge, huge important thing to have. And then next I have is my phone. You know, always keep your phone with you in case of emergencies, but don't text in class. And then um, I have my wallet in here because it's important to have money with you because you're going to get hungry and you're going to want lunch or you're going to have to buy a Scantron and God forbid, you know, you, don't, you buy the red one, you need the green one, you get buy the green one, you need a red one, and if you get a pencil for the Scantron, I, I hate Scantrons, as you can tell. Um, and then I have my binder, my friend on it from like a couple years ago, and then my boyfriend and me in prom, and what I have is this is my science book, and I have my, because I'm in two different science classes right now, and this is my syllabus for one, and then I have, because it's a lab class too, so I have the notes, the homework, the labs, and the graph paper. And then in my other science class, it's not as heavy duty, so I just have a little tab for it. always have dividers, because that's when you know where everything is. Um, and then next I have my spiral that I use for two different classes. I use it for history and economics. It's basically just a regular big thing, but it's divided in three sections, so what I'm going to do is the last section is just going to be for economics. Because economics is an online class, so I only go to a meeting like once a week. So therefore, I have, you know, it all in one, so I don't have to carry two separate things. Um, the next I have is my calculator. Always important to have a calculator in any math or science class. And then I have mints, because you're always going to need mints, because you're going to be there all day, and people don't want to smell your stinky breath after you have that sloppy joe for lunch. And then I have my makeup bag, which has all my miscellaneous. I have powder, spray, um, my lip stuff. I have lots and lots of hand sanitizer. So if you actually know who I am and you go to school with me and you need hand sanitizer, come find me. And then that's pretty much it. Just lip stuff, moisturizer, cover up in just case you, know, you get a blemish or whatever. And then I have my pouch of goodies. It's just pencils, white out highlighters, and a flash drive. Always have a flash drive with you because you don't know when you're going to be working on projects or something. And it's always good to have around just in case you need to print out something. And then I have a pencil, just one to grab. And then I have this thing. I don't know if your school has them, but it's called an eye clicker. And I'm not really quite sure what it does, but I was told to buy this by my professor, and it was like 50 bucks. So I don't even know what this is, but he says we're going to take quizzes with it. So if anyone actually knows what this does, please let me know because I want to know what I just spent $50 on. And then I have my snacks. Always bring snacks with you because when you're hungry, you're cranky and you don't listen. And I get hungry very easily because I am always hungry. So I have the Ready Snacks by Ready Pack. It's 140 calories and has veggies and cheese and ranch dip. So, I mean, this is pretty a healthy snack, you know, in between, you know, classes or something. Just, you know, it's good to eat because it's, you know, something, you know, with protein in it and it's healthy and you're not grabbing chips in a candy bar. And I don't know about you, but my school food is way overpriced anyways. And then I have, that's it. But actually in my secret pocket, because all purses have that secret pocket, I have my 
headache medication because I always get headaches in class. And then I have my deodorant because if I'm at an all-day class and it's hot, I'm probably going to want to put on deodorant midday. And then I have my tampons and I have my EpiPen as I spoke about in my what's in my bag or what's in my purse video. So if you guys, you know, want to know what an EpiPen is, you can just look at my other video. But I'm sure you guys probably know what it is. And yeah, so that's what's in my bag. Um, I would definitely recommend, you know, being organized throughout the entire, you know, semester because being organized for me and being clean and, you know, having, you know, my stuff laid out, it puts me for a, a better success just because I don't feel cluttered and I don't, and that doesn't make me stressed because, I don't know, for some reason, mess and clutter just stresses me out and I like to know where everything is and I like things to be color coordinated. I don't know about you. Um, I love color coordination and I also love index cards. So, like, vocab words or things I need to know, I always put index cards to, like, in between classes or if I have a break, I just pull out my index cards and I don't really have any right now because I haven't really started learning yet cause it's still the first week of school just kind of like flip through them so you know you're constantly you know rem remembering those words for a certain class or something and I just think that's a really good idea um, um I don't know um, I have my keys in my bag always as well but they're over there and I don't really feel like getting them but I do have a section in my room dedicated to my books and stuff so if you guys want to see that then continue watching but this is pretty much what's in my bag this is coming to a close and I'll probably give you some more tips in a little bit but I just wanted to show you how I organize myself in my room. Okay. Here is where I organize the shelf in my closet and it's where I keep all of my books. It's my textbooks, um, workbooks. Sometimes I don't use some of these binders. I just keep them um, if I need them for a class. My textbooks um, and then that's pretty much it. Like if textbooks are really expensive. And then I have like my little extras. I have crayons. I used to have markers, but they dried out. And then I have like a pencil thing where I have like extra stuff, extra highlighters because I'm highlighter happy. This is like a ruler, extra glasses just in case mine break or get lost. Um, and then just a bunch of old random stuff that Sharpies and whatnot. Here, I'll take a... It's not really full right now, but I just wanted to show you guys how I keep organized in my room because I want to have a little section dedicated to... Um, just my school stuff. So, um, yeah, that's it. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how I keep organized. And I would definitely, you know, tips for school. Try to study at least 30 minutes every night. Um, I know that people, they don't do it, but I would definitely recommend that you do that because, I mean, you don't want to cram the night before because that just stresses people out and then you don't get sleep. Oh, another thing, get plenty of sleep and that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I was, if you guys have any questions or any ideas on how you keep organized, please let me know. Thanks.